Hello, I am Seamus Donahue. This video is a personal production rather than a production of Eve University. It is a response to Mint Chip's blog on Sunday, February the 12th, 2012. Shout out to Mint Chip. Hello. Um, and she talks about a couple of things that I think are worth elaborating on, uh, both regarding the new Eve Online website, uh, one about the personality quiz, the other about the Eve Online lore. And I think it's worth pointing out how you find these things given the new site design. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I kind of got lost for a while trying to figure out how to navigate the new site. But anyway, uh, first of all, regarding the personality quiz, if you go to eve eveonline.com, uh, this is the front page for the new Eve Online website. And at the top, you have the sandbox. Right? Now, you can click on personality analysis to uh, start the quiz. Uh, I don't know how good the quiz is, but I don't design personality uh, quizzes myself, uh, so I'm not going to criticize this one too harshly. Uh, but what you can do is you can read any of the uh, descriptions here. Uh, for the most part, they're pretty good descriptions, though um, I think I might want to elaborate on some of them. Loyalist and Freedom Fighter seem to both be references to uh, to factional warfare. Okay. Uh, bounty Hunter, I would personally consider a reference to mission running, uh, since you can earn in-game money from killing NPC pirates. Uh, there is widespread consensus amongst the player base that the player bounty system is currently broken. The reason being uh, that player, player pirates who have bounties on their heads uh, when the bounty gets large enough, usually what they do is that they switch over to a jump clone which has no expensive implants in it, no implants at all, usually. They undock in a pod, and they ask their friend to pod kill them. The friend gets gets the huge bounty, and then the friend splits half of that with the person he just pod killed. This is why the bounty system is broken. You're essentially giving money away to the person on whose head you are placing the bounty. If somebody has a large bounty on their head for an extended period of time, that's because they're keeping it there as a personal status symbol. Uh, the rest of this I don't think needs any further uh, explanations. Uh, they're pretty good overviews of the different sorts of things that you can do in EVE Online. Right. So it's worth looking those over if you're uh, new to the game, if you're thinking of playing the game, or if you've been playing the game for a while but you've been focused on a particular area and you've decided you want to understand the other aspects of the game that you've been ignoring this whole time. Uh, so the next subject, the lore. How do you find it? Uh, go to the EVE Online, uh, go to the EVE Websites tab in the upper right corner and a menu will automatically appear when you mouse over it. Mouse down to Evelopedia, click on that. That takes you here. Scroll down, look for Eve Fiction. You can left click on that. And this is the Eve Fiction portal that I believe Mitch was talking about. So you can find all the different stories and such uh, in this section. Uh, the history, society, and tradition, the different NPC groups, and what have you. So I assume this is what Minship was talking about in her own blog. So you can go look around through this at your leisure. All right. Thank you for watching.